Okay, so we're gonna talk about mounting holes um, in this video. And we're just gonna talk about the size that you need to make the holes. And then also if there's um, copper um, pad because we're doing a plated hole. So remember for mounting holes, there's two types. We have plated and unplated. And remember, plated requires a copper pad. This requires no copper pad. But when we start doing these um, in the class and, and start showing how to do these using the pad stack editor, we'll see that for unplated, we'll still need to have an internal layer. It's just a requirement for um, this particular pad stack editor. But if we're literally doing a hole that's not being connected to anything, we really shouldn't even need to do that. But ours requires us to do it. Now, there's two things we should ask ourselves is what is the drill hole size because that's going to be um and i'm going to say drill hose drill hole size and that's going to be important um obviously depending on the way you're mounting it here now the one thing that is a little bit different here um, let me move my picture here a second so i can scroll down here is that there is not in the ipc standards there's not like a minimum or a maximum um kind of set as far as um how we should make the hole size for mounting holes basically quote you make it big enough for what you need so really what this is is this comes from um another source so if i have screw number here because you may have seen these before where you have like number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven screw numbers for the size of the screw. And then there's also the um, fastener size, which is also kind of, um, used to deter describe the actual and this is the ones that you see most commonly and especially like if you're doing any kind of um, tv mounting like for our tv um, you're going to be seeing these most likely um, the m1.1 m2 m1.5 m sorry not 1.5 2.5 3 M4, I think M4s are often used in mounting TVs, um, M5, M6. And now you can actually get tinier fasteners than this. And you can imagine if you're using a cell phone, you would have a tinier uh, uh, fastener than this. But then really, we're just making this table for us. And so you probably want to have this um, just handy. So off to the side, when you're doing mounting holes, this is 1.8 millimeter size is what you drill. Then 2.4 millimeters, 2.9 millimeters, 3.4 millimeters, 4.5 millimeters, 5.5 millimeters, and then 6.6 .6 millimeters. And so, as I said, it might be used to just have this written down somewhere as a reference when you're doing the homework for this week. Now, the next question we should ask here is, well, if we don't have plated holes, uh, I'm sorry, if we don't have plated holes, there's nothing else really for us to do. But if we have plated holes, we need to say, okay, well, what's the size of the copper pad.
And it might be tempting to use the same standards that we did for um, the copper pad for like the pins that we are doing for pins inside, you know, for um, components. But that really doesn't work well for us. We actually have to consider things like washers. Are there going to be a, is there going to be a washer underneath this? Um, and if so, we have to consider, well, the screw is going to go inside here, but this kind of outer ring here, we want the copper to extend a little bit beyond the outer ring of this washer. Because again, if this is a plated thing, we're wanting to make sure connection is all throughout there. And even if you don't have, um, uh, for instance, a washer, M4 um, bolt head size. And the reality is um, there are different head sizes um, depending on what it is. And here for an M4.7, the head diameter is 7.6 millimeters so we really should then be using the head size for what the um to, to determine our copper pad and then if i use the head size here of 7.6 i could get my size of the copper pad for an m4 point was it i think it was just 0.7 not 0 0.07 m4-0.7 The head size and I already forgot what the head size was, 7.6 millimeters. And that's really what we should use then um, for the diameter to apply to our level A, B, and C. So like level A would be, for this example, my pad would be 7.6 millimeters plus the 0.1 millimeters plus 0.6 millimeters. Which would get me to the well, 0.7, 8.3 millimeters for the copper pad. So much larger than for the M4, which is just a 4.5 millimeter pad that we are, um, as far as the drill hole size, we are almost getting a diameter almost twice as um, big as the hole size diameter for the copper pad and that has to do with the head size um, or if there was a washer it could be even bigger um, so that's really what we want to think about and if you look at the pictures here um, uh, that's not the pictures that's my video channels um, i think i took away the pictures already um, but the pictures in the previous video you can see that those mounting holes that copper pad was fairly large and again that's because you have to use the head diameter or the washer diameter um, to determine how big that copper pad should be. All right, so the next video, we'll actually go ahead and do some pad stacks for mounting holes.